everybody I am back um, I figured since I just uploaded my Costco grocery haul that I would go ahead and show you guys a Dollar Tree haul it has been a while I've kind of haven't been intrigued that Steven <laughs> at the sink <laughs> I haven't really been intrigued um, to go to the Dollar Tree and oh <gasps> gasp um, for all those Dollar Tree people that go like every single week. I don't know what, I feel like I'd just be getting stuff just to make a video, which I guess is a good thing. But anyways, um, let's just hop into what I picked up and I was very, very happy with my purchases today. So I've seen a ton of people haul these really cute, um, Dollar Tree came out with this new like laser cut out floral whatever design and it's on a ton of different things and so I got this one I have some other ones um but I'm just pulling things out at random and I was thinking of using these for my makeup to kind of store my makeup so I love the nice spring color it's that pretty like aqua y blue whatever so I got that let me that was annoying sorry um, also, I picked up these uh, fairy wings. Elena's birthday is April 16th, and we are going to have a birthday party for her, um, and it's going to be a garden fairy theme. So I picked up five of these. Um, I'll probably go and get more, but I didn't know off the bat how many little girls are going to be coming, so I didn't want to get too many. So um, here's one in pink. Another one in pink. I got a purple. It's really pretty. And a green one. And this was at two different Dollar Trees, two separate times today. So um, the first Dollar Tree I went to only had this one. So, and then I also. Um, picked up these little like tutu skirts for them so um, this little green one and this oh this um metallic -y, holographically looking pink one another one of those a bluish purple one of those and a uh, purple tutu one like this. So that's that. I also picked up two of these white wire little baskets. Um, I thought they would be good in the kitchen to hold our onions and garlic in one. And then um, it's probably not big enough, Stephen said, for our fruit. But um, for now, it's... It's a solution. So we're going to put our um, our stuff in here, set it on the counter. It's a better solution than what we have currently. So that's that. Let's see what else we have here. Oh, these magnets. Elena loves, loves, loves these magnets. I got these new ones for her, honey. Um, for Valentine's Day, we got her the little puppy dog ones, and so um, for Easter, we got her, it has bunnies and chicks and flowers and um, Easter eggs and stuff, so I put these on the dishwasher because they actually, um, the front of our refrigerator isn't magnetic, funny enough, so I put them on the dishwasher, and it acts as decor and a, um, what do you want to say, a... Destruction for little Miss Elena. We got that. We've got a new tablecloth because my table is a wooden table and I don't know what happened, but it like oxidized or something. It has this really weird, like white faded stain on it. So until we can figure out how to fix it, I just put tablecloth on it. And this is like not the plastic, I mean, it's plastic, but it has a, the flannel backing on it. So got that. I like the print too. To go with Elena's birthday party, I'm starting to um, get things and I'm going to um, put them in a bin. I also picked up these little fairy wands. They just look like this. They're plastic and then they have like a little feather and a star and whatnot. So I picked up five of those. 
also for her birthday. Um, these 15 packs of Chevron uh, paper straws. I love paper straws at parties. I think it just adds a little extra bit of decor. So I picked up those. It's, that would be 30. Um, I also picked up these little cellophane bags with little butterflies and flowers. Perfect for her theme. Figured they're good treat bags for whatever I decide to give the kids. I think that'll be a cute display. Um, I love doing crafts with Elena. Um every day if I can but at least three times uh, a week so I got this for like our springtime craft at the Dollar Tree I thought she would have a lot of fun with that also for um, the little treat bats for the little girls that come to Lena's party I picked up this set of little plastic um, bracelets and they kind of look like they're in a butterfly shape so um there's pink blue yellow and purple so i thought i could ration those out there's 14 in there and then i found these two really cute washi tapes i found this one that has um gray light gray and yellow polka dots kind of going diagonally and then this glitter like lacy, I don't know what you would call it, laser cut out. And then it's like scalloped down here and it's green and glittery. I thought that would be really pretty for the planner for like St. Patrick's Day week. I also picked up some of these really cool looking, um, what do you call these, placemats. Uh, and we have a round table, so I love getting round placemats. I think they just look better. So I got those in green. So that was good for the springtime. Uh, on my second trip to the Dollar Tree, I was supposed to just go in for Ziploc bags, and that didn't happen. So I also got uh, these tumblers for Steven and I for like our green juices. Um, I got mine in pink, and it just looks like that. A little snap lid. It seemed pretty nice. I mean, it's a dollar, you know, but it's BPA free, which is good. So, I got a pink one for me and a blue one for Steven. And then I think we're nearing the end. I think we're at the last bag. I did pick up the Ziploc bag, because like I said, I was going to. And then I also got um, some stickers for my planner. Steven says I just keep buying them and then I don't even work on my planner. But it is my intention to do so. So, I got some little owls. Some butterflies and bees and flowers and some regular flowers. And these are kind of like squishy, but not not too 3D-ish. Some are really like, you know, um, cushy. These just have a little bit. And then last but not least, the last two items were um, the same as the other things. So I got this one and it's meant to be like a magazine holder, but I thought this would be good for my palettes. Uh, since they're all different sizes and stuff, so I thought that'd be good for that. And then the last one is just this rectangle one. I'm sure I can find something to put in here. Um, I don't know, blushes and bronzers and whatnot. Probably even put like a little divider of some sort in here to kind of divide those up. I'll probably go back for more, but I didn't want to just overdo it, so I just grabbed the ones that I thought I could use right away. And I believe, folks, that is the end of my Dollar Tree haul. Thank you all for watching, and um, stay tuned. I've got some more hauls coming up, and also um, consignment season is upon us. So I have some videos planned for that. So I've missed you guys. Yes, it did cut my hair. I will do an update video soon. Um, I love you guys, and I will see you next time. Bye.